Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is when get older, older and in this series, we are being joined with our dear old friends, Sharon and Martin, and their lovely dog, the majestic Millie, and they're travelling around in the Big Sur. After the torrential downpour at Olympia, we set off for a free night stopover park up at Kiparissia. So this is our free overnight parking can't say much about the place, although the weather's pretty poor today. Yeah, yeah, it's all right for a stop, I suppose. Nothing much to write home about, and we can't decide where to go tomorrow, so we'll see. So I can honestly say that was the worst night's sleep we've had in the motorhome. Mm. Uh, boy races, people talking till about half five. I'm going to show my age and go, why aren't they all safely tucked in bed by 10 reading a good book? <sighs> anyway, that was an awful night's sleep. So we're definitely moving on today. So this is the overview of our park up at Kipirissia. Um, one we wouldn't recommend, and in fact the worst night's sleep we had in Greece all the time we were there. So I didn't enjoy the night in Kiparissia and uh, as soon as we can we're heading off. Yes I'm ready, let's go. So we leave Kiparissia and head down to Foininkunta. Sticky morning this morning. We've been cool for a few days. We couldn't go on the marina wall where it says on park for night because um, the marina wall is being widened. So we parked um, very close to it. We just drive all the way through town to the very, very end where you need to see. And uh, there's a parking spot on the right hand side. Uh, nice views, weather was bad yesterday, but um, come sort of half nine, ten o'clock, the boy racers came out and basically stayed out until about 5.30 in the morning. So I had earplugs in, Tiffany didn't get much sleep. Um, Would not go again! Our friends that we're travelling with, um, he slept very well, so there you go. And um, she was not too bad, so I wasn't too bad because I'm here, but um, But no, Tiffany wouldn't go there again. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. So we're going to... Camping signs. Signs. Right down signs. the south of the... Pink signs, and we're just going to clean the dirty roof. So, Luna's first bit of running around, catching the ball in the sea since she hurt her foot about a month ago in Budapest. 
And we are at um, Camping Vines Binge, where we approach it. And this is the beach, directly outside of this, this campsite. Over that way is where the town is, so we'll be walk over there tomorrow or cycling. Just clean the van. We got dirty in the store weather from the rain yesterday. I'm just go enjoy the beach today. Just walking into Finnickers from the site. Oh, there's fruit on the cat day. There's tons of them. Amazing. There's Finnick, Finnicky Kunda, something like that. That's kind of cute. There's another beach over there. Finicunda is a lovely, cute little seaside town on the southwestern tip of the Peloponnese. It has a small port and it is believed that the name comes from a small sea snail that was traded here a long, long time ago by the Phoenicians. Luna, what do you think? Iced glass. Yes, boss. Nice spot. All good, huh? Perfect. You want a crisp, please? Perfect for you. Come on. Good girl. So, camping signs, 19 euros a night with Axie and Electric, as you can see, across the road to a nice long, long sandy beach, um, the show is nice and hot, a little walk into Finny Kounda, Kounda uh, which is nice but there's not a lot to do other than relax, so uh, for two nights, yeah, it's okay.
Ideal. Seems a bit standard. It's apparently a dog wash, but I've seen that. And as you can see, the pitches are a bit. Come here, see, Senna. The pitches are a bit small. Tight access to get in and out. Trees don't help, but then they're good for shade. And as we're seven point four meters, we've got to take up two pitches. And there are a load of cats. And on our drive, we decided to stop at Methony. So this is Methony. We're just having a quick stop here on the way to the next campsite. And at the end is the castle and the beach, but it's quite a narrow road and it's two-way. Or at least the other guy is driving. So here we are in Methony. And there's the castle. The dogs can't be in. We're going to go and walk around the edge, I think. A little look in town. Like this to offer. I believe you can park there overnight where we parked up. Yeah. Curious to know what they're up to. <laughs> Fish nibble. Fish nibble. Fish nibble. Fish nibble. Fish nibble, are they? They're having their feet nibble, don't they? So, Methony Castle's medieval dates back to 1500s. Um, it has various uses, including prison. Um, the castle at the end is surrounded three sides by the sea and then a bridge onto the land on the north part. Um, and in World War II, one of the walls was blown up. Um, that's about all I've learnt so far. Ancient people, Turkish people, everyone's had a go. Venetian designs inside. Not that you can go in with dogs, but I think it was about three euros someone told me to go in. If you haven't got dogs, could have made that up as well then. Doesn't say anything about parking. Lion. Well, that's about. Apparently, it's been restored in Venetian 1800s, 1700s. So it's not all original.
Ooh, it's very clear water. Huh? It's very clear water, isn't it? Third time he's gone round. Don't know if he's looking for a parking space or is he just getting lost on the way out. you for watching and as always please like share subscribe and comment and we'll see you next time bye This darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees
Try to spread my wings so I can fly. 